Uh, yeah, it's, it's a two-day festival, free to the public. It's free for artists to table at, and it's like your, it's like Artist Alley here at ALA, only every hour there's one or two hands-on participatory workshops. So the, get the artists who come, we get them, like say you get Dave Roman or Raina Telgemeier, they do a hands-on workshop for kids. And the idea is, is that imagine you go to a book signing, and oh my gosh, there's Beverly Cleary, she's signing books. You get your autograph, you have a nice moment, you get your picture taken, and then that moment's over, right? Right. The idea with Kids Read Comics is, you meet Beverly Cleary and she says, oh, so nice to meet you, would you like to draw with me for a little bit? And you get to actually draw with the authors. Uh, so, as Dan Mishkin, one of the co-organizers of the event, once said, and I think he's, he's, he, he speak of the truth, is he said that we're in the business of changing lives. And every year we get a story from at least one parent about some child who was very shy, or they weren't, uh, they weren't the most eloquent speaker, or there was some difficulty in the classroom with them. And in participating in Kids Read Comics with the authors that come to our show, in some way, the, the, the tensions are alleviated, or they blossom, or they come out and they're, they're more outgoing, they have more self-confidence after this. Uh, it's it's a, a really positive event for kids to participate in comics rather than just read comics. Even though the name is Kids Read Comics, right. it should be called Kids Participate in Comics. <laughs> okay. We also had an additional day of programming this mm -hmm. year. Uh, we partnered with the University of Michigan Libraries and were able to offer professional development for librarians and teachers to teach them about how to read comics and how to select comics and how to get that programming into their life.